Hey, everybody. Joel Norton. Charlie Beeson on my left. And today we're checking out a comment request for Take the Power or Take Back the Power. I almost went into Take the Power Back by the Interrupters off of their self titled album. Yeah. Hell yeah. Can't go wrong with these guys. We get to see them here next week. Oh, pretty excited. They got a lot of energy. Super pumped. Hell yeah. Let's just jump in, bud. Let's take back the power. What's your plan for tomorrow? Are you a leader or will you follow? Are you a fighter or will you cower? It's our time to take back the power. What's your plan for tomorrow? Are you a leader or will you follow? Are you a fighter or will you cower? It's our time to take back the power. What you gonna do when they show up in black suits? Street and I make boots and then silence you. What you gonna say when they strip your rights away and the tax man makes you pay? Let me be a sweat you bet today. We don't need to run and hide. We won't be pushed up to the side. What's your plan for tomorrow? Are you a Jerry must discuss Say you don't look like one of us We're gonna turn Now the court has been adjourned Halfway point So what's your plan? Uh, uh, dude, this song <laughs> Has a great rhythm to it Yeah, it does It has a great, like the lyrics, the way they flow mm -hmm. Just perfectly match the song Love the subject matter Asking this is what I was talking about earlier on one of the other reactions we did. Uh, I like when you know hard questions are asked, but I also like when people use their lyrical writing abilities to really flush that out and make you think in ways you didn't think prior. You use a bit of creativity to make it a fresher question. Yes, yeah, not just a question and then right, you know, rely on like we just had a little picture painted for us. Like, hey. Here's a scenario. So. Yeah, exactly. It's not the the like the deepest question you've ever right. heard in your life, no. but it definitely they flushed it out. They did good, and it still sounds rhythm like rhythmic, and it's it matches their current sound. Yeah, so I, I really like that. I definitely I'm digging this for sure. Yeah, the melodies, that's just nice, man. Oh yeah, it's nice. Some powerful lyrics too. Let's keep it going. All right, all right. And the lessons that you learned are not as many as the
Spooky. Yeah. Um. Really good melody. Oh, yeah. But that back half, definitely repetitive lyrically. Yes, it was. It went from what we were talking about midway to the... Uh, <laughs> right to where that other song was? Yep. <laughs> yep. And they repeat quite a few times. Now, let me... I will say, despite the lyrical repetition there, um, they broke it up really nicely with a nice guitar solo. They kept the vibe changes going. A little bit of isolation Isolation for the vocals. They did it a couple different ways and make sure it stayed fresh, so that's not really going to bother me too much. But, uh, yeah, it just had to be pointed out, I suppose. (laughs) Of course it did. (laughs) I enjoyed that quite a bit. Same. Sam, that's gonna be that's gonna be a fun one live for sure. Oh my goodness! I could sing along with that already. I've heard it one time. Jumping up and down in the crowd too. Mm-hmm. Just like, yeah. <laughs> is, is that how you look when you're jumping up and down? I have to stand a little bit away from you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> just like, yeah. Yeah. What's your plan? <laughs> But no, this is a this is a bop for yeah, sure. I definitely enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna put this in a playlist. Um, well, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> you know how to handle that mouse over there, buddy? <laughs> what were you saying though? You got into a playlist and what? Oh, I'm going with a flat seven. Flat seven, dying. Oh, flat seven. I think it's a really yeah. fun song. I really enjoy it. I love the meaning behind it. Like, it just poses that question, like, what role are you going to play? Like, there's no real wrong answer in there. And he gave you a bunch of different things that you could. Sure. You, like, it kind of listed them out a little bit more, which yeah. really drove home the question, and I like that a lot. Yeah. I'm going to go with 7.2 here. Yeah. Catchy. It's a bop. Um, some nice lyrical content in the first half, for sure. And the second half just really sinks that chorus into your head. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what that means. It's definitely going in a playlist, though. You know what that means, don't you? It's going to go into our Scott Punk Two Boys, One, one Playlist. So. Two Boys, One Playlist. I like this. Essentially, yeah. Hey! Damn. Except we don't have one playlist. Otherwise, that would work. Uh, yeah. Two Boys, One Brain. One of the playlist? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I tried too hard. Yeah, it did. You're right. It's fair. But it will make one of those playlists, so you can check those out in the description down below. Outside of that, we're two boys. We have one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. I'm Charles Beeson. And do what you guys can do in the comments. Drop that cell. Yeah, you know what to do. I would hope, at least. <laughs> Me too. That's the fun part here. <laughs> I know, right? And make sure to hit that like button. And peace out. Peace out.